Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm working on an HP 15 F series laptop, and this is a disassembly or teardown video so you can see various components in the computer. The specific model I'm working on is a 15-F233WM. That'll be below in the description, but this should apply to all 15 F series computers. It should help you out kind of with all of them, figuring out how to get in. So the first thing you're gonna do guys, turn the computer off, unplug the charger, flip it over, and we're gonna take out your battery. Uh, this little clip here on the left and this one on the right, you're gonna put your thumbs on it, put some pressure on it, and then slide them towards each other. That will remove your battery. And then you have this easy access panel here. Screw on the left, screw on the right. That panel will come off. That will show us your RAM and your Wi-Fi card. Now you don't have to remove your RAM and Wi-Fi cards to get access into the computer, but I find it's always best to remove components as you go so you don't damage anything. So I would take out the single screw holding in your Wi-Fi card, slide that out of its port, and then to remove your RAM sticks, if you have more than one, uh, there's metal pry arms on either side of the RAM stick. Gently pry those apart, the RAM stick will pop up a little bit, and you can slide that out of its port. After those are out, there's two more screws here on the left, here on the right, that we need to remove. Uh, and there's a ton of other screws in this laptop. So I'll, I'll take you through all of them. Hopefully I don't miss any. Keep your eyes out uh, for screws because there's a ton. You're going to have some up here in the top left, some all on this top edge, top right corner, one here on the right above the, um, above the CD-ROM drive, a couple down here in the corner. Uh, four in this corner, that's wonderful, uh, two right here in the center, and then once you've gotten all those screws, that's not it. We have to flip the computer over and get the screws under the keyboard. After you flipped your computer over, guys, to get your keyboard out, you're going to take your small, flat uh, metal pry tool, and you're going to go along this top edge right down here of your keyboard and gently pry it, snap it a little at a time off of your palm rest. And once you do that, the keyboard will pop up um, and it will just be held in by this ribbon cable connector here. As a side note, guys, just to quickly shout out, my computer is sitting on an anti-static pad or, or mat. If you don't have one, try to get an anti-static bracelet. But either way, these things help prevent damage to the computer components as you're working on them. If you need help with any supplies like that or tools like a pry tool or screwdrivers, check out the link above. I'll also have the link below in the description on my Amazon store. It'll show you some tools and supplies that I use in my shop if you wanted any suggestions. All right, so to jump back into the video, in order to get this ribbon cable out, guys, this is a white port on the motherboard and there's a black clip on it that opens and closes kind of like a book cover. Now it'll open, that black clip will pop open like a book cover and you can release your ribbon cable and then you shut it down, uh, you close that black clip to secure your ribbon cable. It's very fragile, very breakable, so be careful when releasing your ribbon cable. You're gonna slide your plastic pry tool underneath that black clip and gently pop it up. After I remove my ribbon cables, I always like to snap that black plastic clip back down so it doesn't get caught on anything as I continue working on the computer. But after you're done that, guys, there's a couple screws right here to the left of it, a couple screws right down here to the right. Uh, there's also two more smaller ribbon cables over here to the right that I would release um, because when you take off your palm rest, these, these could pull. So release these two ribbon cables. And then right here on the left, guys, if you see through the holes, this is your CD-ROM drive. And there's a hole right here where the arrow's pointing. Put your pry tool down here and push it to the left, and that'll pop your CD-ROM drive out here, just enough for you to grab it. After you can grab it, slide that CD-ROM drive out, get it out, and that will release the last three screws um, that you have to take out to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Again, I hope I didn't miss any. Um, go nice and slow, make sure you don't miss any screws, but as far as I know, those are the last three. So once you do that, guys, you can come back here and you can take your small metal pry tool and right along the edge here, not the side of the computer, but on top here, the edge, you can pry off the palm rest from sitting inside 
the bottom case all the way around nice and slow and you can get your palm rest off then. This is what you're looking at um, after you get your palm rest off. Your motherboard here on the right, that, those are your speakers. They plug into the motherboard right here. Uh, this is your LCD cable, which usually, as in most computers, comes through the left-hand hinge assembly and plugs into the motherboard. Through the right-hand hinge assembly come your antenna wire that went to the Wi-Fi card we unplugged earlier. If you want to release your LCD assembly, you would unscrew these hinges and your LCD assembly would come off if you were looking to replace that. Here's your USB board and the ribbon cable, which is kind of blocking access to your hard drive. To get your hard drive out, what I would do is I would undo the ribbon cable right here, same kind that we just saw with the keyboard. And then I would unscrew this single screw right there holding your USB board down and, and pop that out. You don't really have to do that. You can kind of bend back this ribbon cable and hold it and get your hard drive out, but I don't like even remotely getting close to damaging things. So I, I, I would just remove it. And then after that, your hard drive isn't really plugged in. It's just nestled in there. You can pop it up and unplug it from the hard drive connector right there. So those are a majority of the components in this computer. I hope that helps you navigate into it safely, uh, be able to access various things. If you had any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. Uh, if you need to leave me a comment, please do so. I try to answer those all the time. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And now I'll leave you with a quick word from my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.